Hi, it's Lisa Cuneo, and welcome to my scrapbook table. Today's video is a little something different. I am making a set of tags, two sets of tags actually, for a swap that I joined on Ginger's Corner Facebook group. The theme is summer fun. So I chose some papers with colors that feel like summer. They're nice and bright and cheerful. I used, um, for this set that's white, I used um, an Elizabeth Crafts Designs tag die set and I cut out small and large tags. I'm using Twisted Citron, Picked Raspberry, and Squeezed Lemonade Distress Oxide inks. And <clears throat> I just smoosh it down on my craft mat and let it dry. This Twisted Citron is one of my absolute favorites because look at the color you get. It's green and it's got that blue in it. The yellow, the squeezed lemonade, I think my pad must be getting kind of old and needs re-inked. I'm not sure. I need to buy several re-inkers. <laughs> um, because I had to, in order to get enough yellow on these tags, I had to really put more ink down, spray it, and do it several times. I can't, I'm sorry that I can't tell you where the paper is from that I'm using. It's just two or three random pieces of paper that I had put together in a little summer kit. They've got that bright pink, bright yellow. There is some bright red in there. I tried to mostly avoid that red because it just didn't feel like it fit the rest of it to me. And there I have most of my inking done. You see the picked raspberry ones there. And now I decided to add some picked raspberry on top of the squeezed lemonade. I'm not sure if I'm happy about that or not. I maybe should have left it the yellow, but I didn't. That's okay. So I cleaned up the inking mess and now um, part of that Elizabeth Craft Designs die set are these toppers for the tags, and they have an interesting edge to them. So I cut those out of just some paper from that same summer kit that I threw together a while ago. And while nothing on here really says summer, to me the colors feel like lemonade and picnics um there's bicycles so i think it fits the summer theme well enough i didn't put a tap a topper on all of the tags i just chose some of them to add that to and then i embellished the tags in different ways some of them i cut out the strip of bicycles and added for some I cut out a strip of words um, I think it says adventure and fun and best friends or something like that so I, and again these are two different sets so each set will have six tags in it three large and three small then on one of the papers there was this row of hearts so I put that on some of the tags also one of them has a partial circle that says best friends forever i tucked on one um then i had another i'm at a crop on a, a friday night crop when i was working on these i thought it was a good portable project to take with me and so um i completely forget where i was going with that I guess that just I didn't have a lo all of my dies and things with me. But one thing I did bring was another Elizabeth Craft Designs die set. And I used it to cut out. You can see along the left there, there are some, I don't know, oblong shapes in pink. They say date and details. So I have one of those to go with each of the tag sets. And there will also be a little circle that says noted. So that will give a little bit of other embellishment to go with the tags. 
for the people who are receiving these in the swap. And you'll see in a few minutes, I decided I wasn't done creating tags. I wanted to do some other ones. And while they aren't necessarily summer tags, I just made them. I thought they were pretty and I tucked them in as some extras. So I do have this green and white twine or thread that would work, but I don't have enough of it. Then I pulled out that twine and it's too rustic. So I opted for this black and white baker's twine. and just loop it through each one and trim it off. And the black and white does look nice against the bright colors. I don't make you watch me do that for all 12 tags, but here they are. You can see the details and the date tabs that are there. And then I think I find the little circles. Yes, these say noted, which you can't see real well on the screen, but they are there. And so those are the tags. And now I decided I wanted to use some black ones. And the wonderful host of this Friday evening crop that she does once a month um, has all of her Creative Memories tools available for us to use. So I use some Creative Memories border punches, which I just love. And I cut out two different ones and I put the full border on the larger tags and a partial border on the smaller ones. I really like that one in the upper right of the screen right now. I don't know, I might have to I might have to order that tag or that punch soon. I really like it. If it's still available. I don't even know if it's still available. You can see on the left I have a sticker sheet there. I believe it's from Echo Park. Um, I, I don't remember the name of it and I can't get to it right now to tell you what it is. It was something like Seize the Day or, and I know one of the stickers on there actually says Carpe Diem, so that might be what it's called. Look how pretty that die is cut in half and put on that small tag. These tags again are from Elizabeth Craft Designs. So I pulled some stickers that are words and some that are shapes and carts and things and some flowers. And just put them where I thought they would work. I thought this one might work. I liked the wording on it, but it's just not, it wasn't the right size for the two small tags that I need to fill in. I do like some of these word stickers along the bottom, and you can see I chose three to put on this small tag along with some florals. I thought of putting that little star there, but I opted not to. I stuck with florals and words. Then I have this pair. I put this big heart on it, and then one of the words, word phrase stickers. And I top the heart with the word. And this one has a phone and like an iced coffee thing there. I had trouble making up my mind. Plus I'm talking as I'm working. But this was a really good project to take with me because limited supplies, I didn't have to carry quite so much. And I'm going to keep that in mind for the next time I go, just for a, a few hours in an evening. And for these, I opted to use white twine and I doubled it and then instead of threading it through and putting it through the loop like I usually do, I just tied a, I think I used square knots, I don't remember. That's one thing I remember from Girl Scouts, how to tie a square knot. But I like the look of the double white against that black background. 
There are still shots coming up here in a moment. I hope you like this video. I hope the people who receive my swaps enjoy them. I won't put these up till they've already received them. Thanks for joining me today. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, and I'd love it if you subscribe if you already haven't. I hope you have a great day, and get to do some crafting soon. Thanks!